Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your guru Kamigo. It's nice to have you here again. I know that you're all excited to learn about Module 3. Today, we are going to talk about modes of reproduction in animals. Animals cannot live forever. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. They have also their own reproductive system that makes them able to do such life process. Most of them perform sexual reproduction involving male and female animal. In this way, Extinction is prevented and diversity is maintained in nature. Producing new animals may mean food supply to other organisms. It may also signal the continuous existence of certain species. This lesson will help you understand how animals produce their offspring or new young. Doing the different activities of this lesson will direct you to describe the reproduction depending on the level and type of animals. Animals have the means to increase their number through reproduction. This is to preserve their species and to help in keeping the nature balance as they interact with other animals. Different animals have unique modes of reproduction. It can be noticed that some animals can reproduce in large numbers like insects, pigs, dogs, and frogs, while some animals cannot. On the other hand, those big animals generally reproduce in fewer number. Grade 5 Learners Answer learning task 1. Identify the animals that can reproduce in large number. What are the animals that can reproduce in large number? Why do you think they can reproduce in large number? What are the animals that reproduce in fewer number? Most of the animals like cats, dogs, butterflies, frogs, and the like need a male and a female to reproduce. This is called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a process of creating offspring with the participation of sperm cell from male parent and egg cell from the female parent. Grade 5 learners, identify whether the following animals are reproducing sexually. Write two parents if the animal shows sexual reproduction. Otherwise, write single parent. For learning task 3, describe how a frog grows. Why do you think the eggs are found in the water? Where do you think fertilization happens? Describe how a dog grows. Describe their mode of reproduction. Reproduction involves the transfer of characteristics of parents to their offspring or young. During fertilization or meeting of egg and sperm cell, genetic materials like DNA are shared by the parents to produce new organism 
that may either be possessing unique characteristics or having an exact copy of what the parent has. In sexual reproduction, new animal with a set of unique characteristics is produced. This means that the offspring is quite different from its parents. Sexual reproduction always involves the presence of sperm cell and egg cell. These two cells carry the genetic materials from the father and mother respectively. Dogs, cats, mosquitoes, and butterflies reproduce sexually. Among these animals, sperm and egg cells meet inside the body. This is called internal fertilization. This is the picture of how internal fertilization occurs. Unlike among frogs, they also reproduce sexually, but fertilization occurs in the water or outside the body. External fertilization happens when both male and female frog release sperm and egg in the water to form fertilized eggs. This picture shows how external fertilization happens. Grade 5 learners do this activity. Think of two animals that can reproduce sexually. In the first box, draw an example of an animal that exhibits internal fertilization. In the second box, draw an animal that exhibits external fertilization. Animals may also reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction only needs one parent. Most common activities under asexual reproduction are budding and binary fission. Budding happens when a new animal is produced through outgrowth parts of the parent. Aquatic animals like hydra and jellyfish are doing this process. On the other hand, binary fission which is performed by sea anemone occurs when the parent animal divides into two. It means one animal or parent results into two new individuals. In general, animals may reproduce sexually and asexually depending on the species. Generally, higher species or complex organism perform sexual reproduction, while those lower species or simple organism shows asexual reproduction. Different modes of asexual reproduction are budding, binary fission, fragmentation, and parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is a form of asexual reproduction in which an egg develops into an individual without being fertilized. Fragmentation is the breaking of an individual into parts followed by regeneration. Here is another activity for you to answer. Study each picture in column 1. Each picture shows the parent animal and its offspring. Complete column 2 by comparing the parent animal and its young, and column 3 by describing their mode and type of reproduction. Copy the chart in your notebook. Fertilization inside and outside the body are the two general modes of sexual reproduction. The expected offspring may have separate sex or combined sexes depending on the species. Unique individual possessing different characteristics is produced in sexual reproduction because the genetic materials of the parents are blended or combined. Through the process, the offspring is taught to give sexually, reproducing individuals with greater fitness, 
to be a mechanism to survive and reproduce in an unpredictable or changing environment. On the other hand, a sexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent because the offspring are all clones of the original parent. A single individual can produce offspring asexually, and large number of offspring can be produced quickly. Some animals that undergo internal fertilization are dog and cat, while external fertilization we have frog and fish. Based from what you have learned in this lesson, indicate the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction in animals. That ends our lesson in Science 5 Module 3. I hope you had a great time learning today. See you next time!